Hey everyone, this is Anna with GeoMarvel, and today I'm going to be walking you through how to use the new Map Viewer in ArcGIS Online and comparing it to Map Viewer Classic. So when you open the new Map Viewer, you see these two side panels as opposed to Map Viewer Classic where you have the one side panel and then additional functionality across the top. To get started, let's go ahead and add some content in the old map viewer. You go to add, I can search for layers within my content and I'm just gonna add this first layer here. Now in the new map viewer, I see in my left side panel layers, I have no layers and I have two options. I can add a layer by clicking this button here or I can go to add and browse or choose from this other side panel. So just gonna add the same layer and I see properties and information about the layer opened up in this right side panel. So just comparing the two, I have my information over here and then my content in this panel. And then in this map, if I go to map details, I see my content here. And then in order to see properties or anything like that, I have to actually open that over here. So. The next thing I'm going to do is actually filter this layer because it's a ton of points and not very helpful. So in the new map viewer, uh, I'm going to keep my layer selected and then I can go to filter in the right panel and I'll go add expression. These are different fields within the feature layer. So I'm going to go to this replace is and then equal to one of these values. I'm just going to choose this one and save. So I filtered my points from like 80,000 to 5,000 and comparing to how you do it in the old map viewer, there's a little filter icon here and I can just do the same thing. Now, in order to get those dropdowns of the different options, I have to click unique and then I see those same things. So I can apply and I have the same result. So now in map viewer classic, there are some cool different effects that were not previously available. So I'm going to cluster this feature layer based on the density of features. So clustering, I'm going to enable it for this layer. And here's where I have some additional functionality. So I can choose my cluster radius. So the lower it is, the more points I get, and then making a bigger size range for the different points. So do that and maybe I'll make my cluster radius low just to see lots of different points. Uh, and we see here in the clusters, I see how many features are in each cluster. And in my pop-up, I see that reflected as well. And then my pop-up, I have an additional option so I can keep the pop-up in this top corner or I can hit undock and it will appear more similarly to Map Viewer Classic where it's on top of the feature. So just to see this in that viewer classic, clustering is an option, but I don't have as much control over how the clustering actually appears on the map. And you'll see the default is not to show how many points or how many features are in each clustered point. So in this case, I see this cluster is 135 features and again, pop up appearing differently. So it's just tied to this point and there's no way to dock it to a corner. Additionally, if I want to change the style of my clustered layer, I'm going to use my right panel here. So I see the properties of my layer and kind of a legend attribute. But if I want to change something, I'll go to styles and it does have the same icon as the old map viewer. Let me get back to it. Just uncolored. So if I wanted to change styles in the old one, I would select that icon options. This would be how I changed my symbol in the old map viewer, uh, map viewer classic. But in this case, I'm just going to leave it the same. Click OK. In the new map viewer, I don't have the option to change the style in the additional information. I have to go over to this right panel, click styles, and then I have additional options. So I'm going to edit it, have a basic shape here, size 20 pixels, same kind of thing. But I'm going to increase the transparency and then click done. So this has a really cool effect on the filtering and I can see where a lot of the overlap is. And in this current version of map viewer, I don't have the option to save the layer. So in map viewer classic, I have the option to, if I want to save the layer instead of the entire map, 
I can click the three dots and then save the layer. So that'll update it. And in Map Viewer, I do not currently have that option. So if I wanna save the map, I can go here to the left panel, click Save, and I get the pop-up to save it, uh, add the title, tag, summary. Whereas in the old version, I would go Save, and I would get that similar pop-up here. So Map Viewer is officially out of beta. It has a lot of additional functionality. One of the cooler things is adding to a group, so grouping layers. And the idea being that I can have all of these sub layers within a specific group. So if I want to add this layer to the group, I can either create a new group here or I can move to the existing group. I'll click OK. And then in this case, I see both of these layers within my group layer. So if I have a lot of layers, I can turn both of them off at the same time or both of them on and set settings specific to this group layer. So here I see the symbology for both of my sub layers and can set the visibility range for both of those, which obviously was not an option in Map Viewer Classic. So if you are using the new Map Viewer and you have questions about features within it or information about like what's coming next as far as functionality, you can go to this information tab. I can see what's new, I can see the roadmap and then compatibility and whatnot. So if I go to what's new, I see this resource telling me new features, how to use them, and just different functionality now available in Map Viewer. As a note, while Map Viewer is out of beta, it doesn't have all of the finalized functionality. So for example, if I wanted to do analysis on any of the layers in my map, if you'll notice, I don't have options for analysis over here or in my right side pane, whereas in Map Viewer Classic, I have the option to do analysis here. So as of right now, analysis is just in Map Viewer Classic, but will be a feature coming to Map Viewer in the future. This has been a brief overview comparing the new Map Viewer to Map Viewer Classic in ArcGIS Online. Thanks for tuning in. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more GeoMarvel Live videos. See you next time.